Hello guys, welcome back. I'm uh, turning my attention back to the commando now. Uh, with the triumph at summer camp over at the museum this summer, I've got a little bit more space and so I've put Shep there, the Atlas project, up on the bench. Um, still need to tidy up a little bit, but uh, I can now get back to the commando and finish, hopefully, this swing arm fix. So the next job will be to reinstall the horn assembly. And I'm just going to add these extra nuts and washers for now. Uh, these are for the mud guard when it finally goes on. And then just to check the horn's actually working now that it's refitted. And now to see if the electrics work. I've plugged all the bullet connectors back in. There were, I think, five. Quite straightforward, so I'm just going to see if the lights work. Success. Terrific. And I can't taste the brake pedal because I don't have the brake installed. Oh, front, front, front. Excellent. I keep forgetting there's a front brake light switch on this model. It's so new.
we're getting closer we're nearly there and uh, so that's the silencers fitted pretty much the back end uh, next will be the hub uh, the chain guard fit the chain the wheel and then that should be it uh, just a couple of fine points there the brake cable goes over the Z plate and um, I loop it through actually on its way to the back brake mechanism I still haven't got that safety spring I, I might get that online that just stops your foot pedal dropping down and sort of jackknifing on the on the road yeah definitely looking a lot cleaner than it did yeah sadly a lot of the cleaning back there is all hidden away now but that's okay we know it's back there right <laughs> and uh, anyway should make it for a cleaner bike anyway overall Chain's a little worn. I think I need a new chain sometimes. So you may have noticed that I've switched the direction of this bolt here at the bottom of the shock absorber. I had the nut on this side and I've moved it to this side because the head's a little flatter than the nut and the washer and it also takes into account here this retaining bracket here that needs to slot behind there as well so that should make it a little easier to fit this chain guard all right so i'm first going to start by removing this brake shoe inspection grommet uh, that allows the chain guard to slide by a little easier i've also removed the flap at the rear 